Hey beauties, today I'm going to be refreshing my color with conditioner. So I have two colors here, mocha for my roots and honey for my highlighted ends. I'm really excited to see how this color turns out. So let's get started. If you are new to my channel, my name is Deandra. I post lots of hair, fashion, and beauty videos, all of which I always keep affordable. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you enjoy that kind of thing. We're bougie, but on a budget around here. And let's get started. <laughs> So I've actually used this mocha conditioner before. I would say I've used about half of the bottle. You guys would always ask me what color my hair was on Instagram every time I would do a color wash with this one. So I went ahead and picked it up in the color Honey um, just to refresh my color and just kind of get that blonde bright again and have it not look so dull. I am going to use the mocha color up here in my roots because I did do a demi permanent hair color to tone it but it like kind of looks orange in the sun still so I'm hoping that this helps. It is wash day so my hair is pretty dirty don't judge me. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is brush everything out. I probably should be a little strategic about this so that my hair doesn't get all splotchy. Um, so let me grab some gloves and a bowl. All right, I've got my gloves. So actually, the first thing I'm gonna do is my ends. I'm using the color Honey, just because I do like a warm honey look to my highlights. I don't like it too ashy. So I'm just gonna take a couple pumps of that. And starting at the end, I hope this doesn't change my color too much. Um, I'm just gonna lather on. This stuff smells so good too. And you probably do want to wear a shirt that you don't really care about. I have a cape somewhere, I just can't find it. I'm just gonna brush through so that all of that conditioner disperses everywhere. I probably should have sectioned this. I am not a professional, by the way, in case you uh, were wondering. I just do this because I enjoy it in my bathroom. Not a professional again. <laughs> Just kind of adding more where it looks kind of dry. I actually have a bowl here and I'm going to pump some of the mocha into the bowl. Just getting some on the brush. I am gonna brush it onto my roots. And then I'm gonna take a wide tooth comb and just brush that color through. I did do a video on how I toned my hair using the Demi color. I would say it lasted a good month and I did use an orange shampoo, the Finola orange shampoo every time I washed for upkeep and I just didn't feel like it lasted that long. I already feel like I need to redo my color um, and I don't want to over bleach and over process my hair cause honestly it's already pretty damaged. And so I'm hoping that this just helps refresh my color a little. Going to section this. 
taking some more of that brown color. I'm just gonna hold up this strand because I don't want it to blend with the color on this side. So I'm just gonna hold it while I apply the color. And then again, I'm gonna blend it down with the wide tooth comb. If you don't wanna to have to hold up your hair, do one side at a time. I just forgot, so um, I'm doing it the hard way. Just taking it on the back. It doesn't say how long to leave on, so I think it's just personal preference. I am going to leave on, what do you think? 15 minutes? Alexa, set a 15 minute timer. 15 minutes, 30 minutes. And after that 15 minutes, I'm just going to wash with shampoo and conditioner, not blue or purple shampoo, just because I want to see, you know, what the color looks like. And then if I feel like it's still orange, then I can go in with the blue shampoo. But I want to see what this color conditioner actually does. So I will wash and then I will be back to show you all the results. I'm excited. This is what the honey conditioner did to my hair. I'm not mad at it. It did darken it a little, but that's kind of what I wanted because a lot of my hair is highlighted that it really doesn't have any dimension. And I feel like the honey color did bring back some of that dimension. So I'm okay with it looking a little bit darker. I did go in a second time with the mocha conditioner just on the parts where I part my hair. So I did a middle part and then I did my side part and then added some right in here. It was really orange actually, more orange than where I started. So maybe don't get mocha for this, get like a darker, more neutral undertone. Cause I feel like the mocha does have a reddish undertone, but I'm doing it a second time. Hopefully it gets darker. And then when I wash off, I'm going to use this Fanola No Orange Shampoo. It is a blue shampoo. Hopefully it gets rid of the orange in between my roots and my highlights. And I'm also going to go in with this purple conditioner. I mean, I guess this is a color shampoo video. So I figured I would mix them one shampoo and then condition with each color and hopefully it helps all of my hair. Fingers crossed that my hair is not orange tomorrow. I only left this part on for like five minutes and my timer is almost up. So I will be back with the results. <laughs> Okay, so here are my results. 
I'm actually really, really happy with this color. I do have y'all in natural lighting, which I normally try to film outside for the best natural lighting, but it's so windy today. So I found the best lighting in the house. And you guys, it looks really good. I'm really, really happy with this color. I will say don't skip on the blue or purple shampoo. I'm really happy that I ended up mixing them. I had been using the blue shampoo regularly in the shower, but I still kind of felt like my hair was orange, so I needed that extra color deposit. I think if I were to do it again, which I probably will, because it was so easy, I would probably let it sit longer. It was so easy. The color conditioner took all the guesswork of having to mix the Demi color with a developer and all of that. If you don't really know about hair color and you're not a professional like me, I'm not a professional. It just makes it so much easier. And the best part is that I have a whole bunch of product to continuously tone my hair if I need to. The honey color I'm really happy with. It did darken my hair a little bit, but again, I wanted some depth back into it. I do see that coming through now after I did the honey color on it. The purple definitely helped tone out all the yellow. I did do a full wash of blue and then I did a full wash of purple. In case you guys are wondering if I did just blue on the top and just purple on the bottom, I just mix it throughout my whole hair because it's easy and um, it still worked. So I'm really loving this color. I know you guys wanna see the back. Yeah, it's looking good. I'm so happy with it. And if you are an amateur, I definitely recommend trying a color conditioner to tone your hair or just upkeeping your color in between salon appointments. I really like this technique and it's so easy. Hit the thumbs up if you learned something and this video was helpful for you. It really helps me out. And if you want to see how I did my root touch-ups or how I did my whole hair highlights, I will leave my hair playlist down in the description box below and at the end of this video coming up in like five seconds. If you're curious about any of that, my whole hair journey is on YouTube, so <laughs> including my fails. So check out my hair playlist and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.